What is going on guys, it's Patrick here and today we're bringing you guys some fixes for Battlefield 4 for the PC. Now this is actually going to be able to fix your frame rate, get a higher frame rate and a more consistent frame rate. Now before I did these fixes, as you can see the frame counter is in the top right, I'll tell you to get that later on in the video. Whilst you're playing in game, you don't have to download anything. Um, before I was playing I was getting around about 80 FPS on maps like this, maybe 90 at a push, maybe 100 if I was lucky. Now you can see that I'm hitting 200, obviously I'm looking at the sky now, but it doesn't ever seem to be going below 120. It will probably be dipped to like 110 for like a split second if craziness is going on in the map. As you can see, I'm playing squad deathmatch here. Sorry, no, domination. Um, in a little while, you will see me playing 64 bit conquest so you can compare the FPS. Obviously, I'll get better on here because there's only 32 players on this map at the moment. But as I said, the gameplay will change. Anyway, onto the fixes. Now, there's going to be some fixes in here some you guys can do and some you can't do. But either way, if you can do as many of them as you possibly can, it will improve your FPS. Now, first off, we're going to start with this upgrading to Windows 8.1. Now, this doesn't actually cost a lot, and there are ways to get it for free. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to tell you how to do that. But you can go and find out for yourself if you want to. But I do recommend you go and buy yourself a clean copy, just so you don't get any viruses or anything like that. Um... So yeah, I'm going to Windows 8.1. Now, I've been told to do this by other people before. I've looked into it, 64 bit games, and DirectX 11.2 runs a lot better. Even if your card doesn't even support it, games run better in Windows 8.1. I always thought that, you know, that's a bit of a myth. It probably isn't as good as it sounds, but it really, really is. That jump alone gave me around about 30 to 40 FPS increase just by doing that alone. And I'm running on previous gen hardware. I'm running on a second gen i5, 2500k processor. All my um, my specs are down in the description below if you guys do want to check out. And a previous generation NVIDIA graphics card is the GTX 670. And these cards are now about 200. My PC is probably, you can buy my PC if you wanted to buy the parts in a previous gen. I don't really recommend it, but you could probably buy my PC for about 500 quid now. And for this performance, it's absolutely crazy. This is running at native 1080p, 1920 by 1080 Yes, the settings are on low, but you can still see for yourself this game looks fantastic. I'll post a screenshot down below of how it actually looks in game because obviously YouTube um, encodes and compresses it itself when it uploads as well. So it, the, the video isn't going to look the best, but if you guys want to have a look at that picture, if you're happy to play with that quality, which in my idea, my opinion, not my idea, um, my opinion is absolutely fantastic, and I think low settings for multiplayer on games like Battlefield and Call of Duty and stuff like that for the PC is definitely going to give you a better experience rather than high settings, but it's whether you want to go with looks over frame rate. If you were to max this out, it's not going to look much better than this anyway. I'll uh, probably get a comparison picture up when I can, but for now you'll see what I'm playing on. That picture will be in the link description. Anyway guys, uh, so second off, after upgrading to Windows 8.1, or upgrading to it, um, the best thing to do is definitely get the latest drivers for everything. Get your latest BIOS, get your latest uh, chipset drivers, get your latest graphics card drivers. Upgrade all of those. Even if you upgraded them a month ago, check if there's a new version. If there's a new version, it'll get everything talking to each other very well and it'll increase your performance most likely. So if your chipset's out of date, get the latest chipset. If your BIOS is out of date, get the latest BIOS. If your graphics card uh, drivers need updating, update those as well. Update absolutely every single driver that could do with the vital component update that as often as you can because it will keep things working as smooth as they possibly can I've got everything updated here as I said my specs are in the description below and everything is running perfectly next off is to download the fix below for a blur fix and to turn off some options that you can't normally turn off in game because in Battlefield 4 they've made some options where you can't actually turn them off but you can turn them to low when you should actually be able to turn them off stuff like um, excess AA and stuff like that. Stuff that doesn't actually make the game look that much better, but it really kills your FPS. That's actually been turned off. All you have to do is go to your documents and replace your profile underscore save with mine, or you can open up mine and compare and just do the fixes yourself, but I recommend downloading mine. Remember what your mouse sensitivity is in your personal settings as well, like your key bindings, because you'll have to put those in again because obviously it'll be my mouse sensitivity, but all you have to do is put your key bindings back in if you do have any excess ones, which can take like 10 seconds, and change your mouse sensitivity back, which will probably take about 10 seconds as well. After doing that, what you want to do is go down to the description below to the Unpark CPU Cores app that I've linked. Uh, just download that. Download the, I'll put it in myself so you guys download the right thing. Just run the EXE and um, it will say, I'll get a little thing on the screen now, it will say check all cores or unpark cores. It will say parked on your cores. And um, all you want to do is click unpark all cores. 
it will then go and do it and it'll say all cores have been unparked. Just exit off the program, restart your computer, and that basically stops your CPU cores from idling. They're working as well as they possibly can all the time because Intel has built in idling technology. I can't be bothered to go into all of it. I'm sure it's just useless information to me and you anyway. Basically, what it will do is when you're on the desktop, your CPU cores will idle, giving you a lower temperature and idling the processor. You can't actually, you can disable that to an extent, but you can't without this. And uh, it, don't worry, it won't make your computer run any hotter than it already does in games or anything like that. It's nothing like that at all. It just allows games to access what they need to access faster and more efficiently to give you the better FPS. After doing that, what you want to do is you want to make sure whatever your game is installed to, make sure the hard drive is clean and it's got a good write, read speed and write speed. Um, I'm running on a Seagate Barracuda 1TB for my games and I record to a 2TB. As you can see, I'm actually recording here as well. If you guys didn't realise, obviously I'm screen capturing the, um, the game, so that will be hitting on my performance as well. So God knows what sort of FPS I'll be getting. But I'll tell you how I'm recording without really getting any FPS dips later on. If you guys are uh, NVIDIA guys, you'll probably know already. But anyway, as I said, keep your hard drive SSD clean. Remove if you've got loads of excess files and you're getting stuttering in games, probably because of load times and stuff and texture loading, it really will kill your performance. You definitely want to make sure you've got less, at least amount of crap on your computer's hard drive or another hard drive for your games. If you guys don't mind spending a little bit more, maybe for about 20, 30 pounds, probably about $60 maybe, $40, $50. Uh, get yourself a 500 gig or maybe even a terabyte just for games if you are serious about getting F better FPS because if just having your games on that hard drive alone will make sure it's clear from any other external programs and stuff like that. It will keep your games running as smooth and as fast as possible. Next what you want to do is you want to possibly, if you still are getting FPS issues or if you feel that you can get more, go ahead and overclock your CPU. I wouldn't really recommend overclocking your GPU because it's not going to change all that much, but obviously overclocking your GPU will change a little bit, but CPU is more intensive for games like Battlefield. It definitely is better to have an overclocked CPU. I'm running at 4.6 GHz right now. I used to be running on 5, but my power supply is no longer up to it. As soon as I upgrade my power supply, I'm going straight back to 5 GHz. My processor came clocked at 3.3 GHz as a quad core, so as you can see, I've overclocked mine quite a bit. Next what you want to do is go into your battlefield settings, um, go to video or game settings, I can't remember where it is, but you want to find network smoothing factor and turn, turn that up to 10% because the network bubble on this game really, really does suck. DICE have said they're working on a fix of their banner about 5 days ago, so I imagine that will be out within the next week or so anyway, and it will be an automatic update, but for now just put your network smoothing factor to 10% and that should help out any issues you've got. If this video did help you guys, and know it helped me. Um, Please leave a like and leave your little story down below if it did help you. If it didn't help you, I can try and help you out. Ask for some help as well if you do require any help. Also, subscribe to the channel because it really does help me. I've dedicated my time to helping you guys. So all you can do is help back and maybe subscribe to the channel if you want to. Obviously, you don't have to. And uh, share the video with your friends and I'll be very, very, very appreciative of that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you want to add me on Origin and play some games with me sometime or all, any, anything like that, Skype, Steam, all information is down below. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Panjano and I'm out.